in many industries we can able to notice start using ball nose end mill for the chamfer milling application this is mainly to reduce the cost by maintaining the number of tool types at minimum level and also reusing the ball nose end mill of the after the 3d applications so here in fusion 360 we have 2d chamfer milling tool path but if you use a ball nose end mill you cannot able to generate the tool path because it is restricted to a chamfer tools only actually you can, as you can see this after selecting some few edges using a 2d chamfer tool path immediately you can able to get noticed it is only used for a chamfer tool so what we have here is you can able to generate a chamfer milling tool path using a ball nose with the help of deburring tool path so this tool path have a similar kind of application like chamfering and in this one, select a ball nose end mill here. And you can able to select the outer boundary. So by selecting the machining boundary outside the path, the maximum limit of the path. And you can able to deselect the edges not to be chamfered actually. So for this case, you can able to go and select the counter bore insides. Okay, quickly select and whichever the edges not necessary. In this case, I no need to be here, here, and inside the counter bores also. And also here in this side actually. So once you're done, you can able to go to your fourth tab and you can specify uh, the chamfer width actually so in this case i'm specifying 0 0.5 and uh, use a three axis in this case and uh, you can able to maintain the rapid distance as a minimum level and you can able to generate the tool path this will give you a tool path with quick generation and you can able to see it automatically select the edges and you can entry with the smooth uh, fillet, filleted entry and exit actually. We can see the simulation of this. If you go to the simulate tool path and uh, you can see that it, it blends very nicely all over the edges and for different holes and the sizes, it automatically adjusts the height uh, based on the chamfer width we are specifying actually. This is a process of quick tool path generation for a ball nose end mill for a chamfer milling application and it is called deburring tool path.